Anyway, I think that's enough for y'all. I don't want to have y'all heads blow up and stuff. Boom! Boom! Ooh. Another thing. All right, people, Another remember thing. this. Let me tell you something. Too. You know, the book, you know, Paul, you know, Paul, you know, Paul said in the book of Hebrews, he said, born in the man wants to die, and after that, the judgment. Paul created Christianity more than Jesus. Why you got to be accountable? I mean, exactly. if, if your parents gave birth to you, you go out to Christian man and say, your parents fault? I don't worship my parents. Well, but whoever but, I worship but, is going to be accountable for something. But who do, what, what do you worship? That's exactly it. Science. I worship that the rules of the universe will be, remain consistent. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who wrote the rules of the universe? The answer is, we don't know. Thank you. Now, let me ask you, who wrote the rules of the universe? The Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have any evidence of that? Yeah, the Bible. Okay, that's not enough evidence for me. That's just a book written 2,000 years ago that's been translated more times than you can count. And, yeah, 2,000. It's been about 2,000. No, just the New Testament been written 2,000 years ago. Oh, yeah, the Old Testament, too. And you know, that was back in the time when people didn't even... Oh, my goodness. Y'all believe in the book of 12,000, whatever years old. Think about it, people. But, Think but, about it. But, 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 people, look at all the prophecies coming to pass. Why show me you? one. You ain't show me one yet. They're not prophecies. They're so vague. They're just it's speculation. Just, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's saying it's just history. I mean, why should, why should you be so disbelieved about it? Because it's not accurate. It's contradictory. You got four Gospels to tell a story. Three different, four what, are, different what are the four Gospels, people? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And all of them tell the stories different ways. Okay, you, you, know you, you are formerly a Christian, right? I wouldn't say Christian, but I know the you Bible. Form, you're a former believer. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say believer. I was in the church like every other kid. You did what you were supposed to do. Uh huh. I don't know if I believed or not. But you didn't have no real conviction. You were just raised up. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't anti. So, what, so what's going to happen is going to have to take something dramatic for you to, a miracle for you to believe, right? Because um, I'm gonna I'm I'm pray for this. Evidence. I'm gonna pray for this miracle to happen just for you. Evidence, man. <laughs> what evidence? What would? What, evidence of what? Man, what would you know if you were saying? God, He's just gonna say, "Hey, I'm so here." That's it. It's simple, man. It's what? I mean, anything. Who would he be? As a bum or as a girl or what? He is. Come out of the sky. He was the creator of the universe. He can figure it out. But I wonder what what would it what would it take for you to believe it? Anything. Anything. But he could be he could be a bum on the street. Right. And you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that. That's true. You get a little girl. You would know that bum on the street would have to do something to catch my eye to somebody to something somebody else ain't did to say, hey, I'm open to this. I'm open. When I ask you guys questions, I'm not really challenging. I really want you to show me evidence. Really? I really do. We have to open the scriptures for me to prove it to you. I can open the scriptures. You don't want to do that. I can open it too. <laughs> The man says, if God speaks to him, he believes God, but how would he know what God is if he spoke to him? Right, God if you know to me, I would. Not how no would, book that a man wrote. How would, how would you know if he's God? How would how you know, know what he's saying? You would know. You would know. Well, yeah, but well, how would you? The question is, I would know because I would be divinely touched. The question is, how do you know? Because I, I know the word of God. You, you know if I know book, the word of God. You know a book. You don't know the word of God. You know a book. Well, the, well, the book you was book inspired by man. The book, yeah, but well, they were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Written by man and changed more times than you can count. You know they went in there just King James just flat out changed the damn thing. You know that, don't you? And you know Saint Thomas said that Jesus said, "Don't pray to me, to man. It's the word and the philosophy that you should understand." I'm not. And Jesus never once said he was God. He said he was the Son of Man at best. He never even said he was Son of God. He said he was the Son of Man. Jesus never once said he was well, God. Well, Jesus, I am who well, I am. It's not saying well, that I am God. You know why? You know why he didn't say that? Because he wasn't. Well, in Philippians, he didn't. Make, he didn't go around and make a reputation for himself. That's yes, why he, he, was, did. he didn't go bragging. He went around meditation. That's why he got persecuted. That's why he gave himself a sacrifice. He put himself in a position to be sacrificed. You know the whole Jesus Christianity ain't nothing but a story of human sacrifice. It's nothing but a flat, flat out story of human sacrifice. This man said, I'm gonna die so that you get to heaven. You believe in that, it's gonna work for you. And yes, if you believe he did it, it will work for you. Even if it didn't. If you believe in it, it will work. Wait a minute. If there's no such thing like you say, why would it work? Faith. Human faith and love. Love is the strongest thing on this planet. Love will make you die. Love is stronger than your will to survive. Faith is just as strong. You wake up in the morning with faith, your day is going smooth, no matter what your faith is in. You wake up knowing everything is going to be okay, it will be. Doesn't matter if it, doesn't matter if God going to help you or not. If you think or you deeply believe it will be okay, you're free. And it's just that simple. And the reason God survives is because he can't be invalidated. Okay, do so you believe you're going to die? Yeah. You do. Why? If your faith is so strong, why don't you believe that you won't die? Number one, I don't want to live forever. The <laughs> idea of living forever does not arouse me. Little, seriously. 
The idea of living forever does not get me high. You die because we're human, we're life. Life dies. In the universe, life must die because if everybody lived, there wouldn't be no room left. <laughs> Number one. Well, yeah, but uh, the Lord Jesus offers life eternal. But see, again, if, if, if you believe, there's no proof. If you believe, right? Exactly. If you believe, right? So, so your faith. But see, if you believe and it don't happen, it don't matter because you're dead. Nobody came back. There's no evidence. Nobody came back. <laughs> and let me tell you this too. Let me tell you this. <laughs> this is there. Life coming back to this planet, though. Why do you think it means staying here on this planet? Why would you think it means life somewhere else? Uh, it could mean that. I'm saying nobody came back. There's no evidence anyway. There's, no matter what it is, there's no evidence of it. No matter what it is, no, it coming back would be evidence. That's why I said. Let me say this. Thing. If a mother can't come back, if a, there's nothing stronger than a mother's love. You want God to talk to you. You want somebody a day to come back. You want to see all these things so you believe, right? You want all this kind of like hard to Yeah. To, to, you, to you in your world, you live here right now. Yeah. But. See, these things have probably exist in some other world. Okay, and they probably believe in that other world, but not here. They can believe in that other world, but you gotta show me something, man. You gotta show me something that ain't man-made. Show me something that I can't explain through science. There you go. Show me something that I can't explain through science. The Big Bang Theory. I already explained it. Science will break it down to you. But that's theory. It's theory. That's hypothesis. Yes. That's no, it's supposition. Theory. It's theory. Right. It's a little bit more than hypothesis. It's theory. What? Well, what's the difference? My father says it's made like a early it's a, it's a guessing game, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So it could and it couldn't be true. Now, According yeah, to the theory has a little bit of more scientific, you know, theory got a little bit more background to it. It's just okay. some research. Let me tell you about science. Yeah, I mean, they used to say in this particular universe there was only nine planets, am I correct? Shoot, they used to, yeah. They how how many have they found now? All right, let me tell you something about religion. <laughs> let me tell you something about religion. When they said that, religion controls science. There was a time when religion controlled science. There was a time. Yeah. Not anymore. Well, I don't know. Still, they still, they still think. All right, can we end this now? I'm tired, y'all. All right. Stay tuned for the next exciting.